tell you, a man walked right. up to me the other day and he said, well, I can't even repeat it. Why don't you stop a spell and play some horseshoes? I'm available for private tutoring. Did you see that? That's how you throw a horseshoe. If you need lessons, I'm your man. Nice throw, yes sir. That's a beauty. You don't doubt it. Must have been the win. Take a look at that throw. Wanted Ben Square.
Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. You know, we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I bury more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Huh? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Impressed, Marston. 
Mount up, Martin. You leave this one to me. Woo. I think that's an effectivity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Over oh. there. so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight, and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy a joker, Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural at busting Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Whoa! Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. Come on! 
Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. did he's missing he's only a youngster my boy is missing where who took him them people in the hills them hills near hanging rock they took him <laughs> can't the police force help you oh they can't even help themselves please sir my son is missing i need your help if i find him i'll bring him back to you Keep 
Have a seat. We need another poker player. Sure. I'll call. Okay, let's do this. Easy there, cowboy. Too much for me. What do you know? I'm gonna check. Hell, I'll take that. I swear, Pericles Tanner to the doors of pulling teeth way too much. Call. Ooh, I'm gonna buy a new iron with these winnings. Cagey, ain't you? Sure, I'll gamble. Ain't you aggressive? Lock me up and throw away the key. No, I'm out. I'll call that. I'm in this one. I got the mountain oysters to stay right in. I know your game. Okay, I'll place a bet. Call you. I call. Seems like you was weaned too soon. Make sure you deal from the top. Think I'm gonna call. Now I'm either lucky or foolish. Think I'll check. You think you can beat Iris Shelton and Joker?
Yeah. Yes, sir. When I'm in a... I do beg your you part. You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. I don't miss, mister. Bear that in mind. I'll shut that mouth of yours for good. Hello, it's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello, it's a new line. Hello, hello. Sounds fun, what's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly the world is full of days. Yeah, <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest. And they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in the wild lands. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Ew. All right, Whoa! leave the horses here and follow me. 
Head for the fort! Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Out here. There's our boys on the other side. a little something for my troubles. Looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's get as close as we can before opening fire. Come on! 
Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wide...